Morning class. All right, so today we're taking off on a new venture, which is these uh, kind of everyday vlog things, except I'm doing it like it's actually class. Uh, so as you guys are watching, just kind of run it like it's a it's a regular class. So let's start with the opening uh, that we're going to be working on. All right, so we got to, we're going to start off with the ceramics lesson. Going to start off with the quill technique. So the quill technique, how what are its usage? Basically, anything that you can make in clay could and possibly will require the quill technique or some sort of coil coiling process to to make the project all right so let's look at one of my favorite pieces which is my skull mug i like this mug a lot comes with the cool drinking straw uh and i've got the little handle in the back now i did have one pop back here but that you know sometimes these things happen uh, but i built this entire piece out of coils and just push it into shape so that you can create the mass create the shape that you did and it works out really well i got this in my loot crate recently and i'm going to make this a future project for uh my class uh it's a coin bank it's got a little bank thing back here uh but i think that this process of using uh coils to make something like this is also just as simple just as easy and comes up with a cool thing all right so let's look at some examples all right so here we have oh no it broke All right, so here we have a good example of a coil piece. So you can see how it started off in the Roman era. And the Romans used the coils used, used the coils to build various pieces because sometimes you didn't have a wheel at hand, but you can use the coils to build the same shape for the same vessel. Now, the problem with this one is it weighs a ton to lift it up. Make sure that your clay pieces should weigh like it feels. They should be thin, they should be light, and they should be solid. All right, so as I'm looking through this one, nice coverage on the outside good external uh external designs lots of decoration around this the top edge over here some pieces along the front face of the piece as well as the back face to give it a full view in the round kind of texture so another example now this one's not been glazed but you can definitely see all of the attributes on it still so the coils uh have been round wound around on the outside but then using the coils as a decoration technique that's another great idea where you have spirals that come around to more spirals to break up the space break up from the lower end of the piece to the mid body of the section to the top edge you want to see variations in design across all all ends of it so that you have a full well-rounded piece but again it's too thick Let's get into some more modern structure. Notice how thin each of these coils are. This is the thing that you want to shoot for, about a quarter to a half. Yes, this is about a half an inch, uh, but this is, just, no, no, no. Ugh. Uh, you want something light, something that is, It's this is a cleaner design because of the lightness of the element. You should piece away like it looks. If you don't want to, you don't want a piece that weighs like a ton no uh but notice how the they've added attributes to this so you have the nice coils on the outside nice levels of coils so you can see the beautiful coils thinned out on the inside so that it's a watertight sealed piece and then they took and did some s figurines back and forth to break up the space along the piece now notice they did a horizontal variation here vertical variation here to where you have different things going on to make a full well-rounded piece to something that i loved a lot when i saw the student working on this one where you had pieces of clay that they knotted and braided around each other. It was just something new, that something fresh I've not seen done on the traditional coil technique. Uh, smoothing out just a portion of it so that there was a visual change in that vertical stripe on that front of that piece crossing them over each other and actually giving a braided, a knotted technique on this one. Very futuristic style to me. I don't know why. It's, uh, we didn't talk about H.R. Geiger's work, but his, this is very reminiscent of the stuff that he makes, in, in my opinion, and the way that they structure just that structure of the lines that come down from that edge to the braiding at the top. There's that that's a level of intricacy in those small things. So, what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you guys how to do a coil technique, and we're going to make a couple coil vases real quick, and uh, see how it goes.
in the class. All right, let's do a quick review. Things that we need to talk about. Coils used to make lots of different things. Uh, everything from a cup to a vase, but it should be light so you can pick it up without breaking your back. <gasps> make sure that all of your piece, all your coils have been properly attached together. Notice how on the inside of the vase, right inside of my cup right here, all of the pieces have been properly sealed up to make it watertight, uh, unless you want a window and then it's for other processes. Um, but you've properly added those things together, you made a nice piece and you wrapped it up properly because if you're going to keep working on something make sure that you wrap up your piece if air gets to it too much too long it's going to dry out crack and you have to start all over again so all right things that i want you guys to be doing for homework or for additional practice uh, i love etsy and i love pinterest i recommend getting on both of those sites putting in ceramic coil vases or coil vases or ceramic vases or something with a vessel a cylinder shape so you guys can get some practice throw down some notes throw down some designs and let's see what you guys have i'll catch you guys next class have a good one hey class i hope that you like that last video please don't forget to like and subscribe down there at the bottom now i'm gonna get back to uh doing my thing which is uh working on my own stuff so uh don't forget to follow me on the web i got a bunch of places you can find me such as pinterest or no not not we're not doing Tumblr. uh facebook instagram twitter uh, group me that's a new one for me and steam uh, and my personal favorite YouTube check me out like and subscribe see you guys later next class follow see you later next class do your homework <laughs>